Hey, I'm David Agronoff. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Edward Morris. David Agronoff, author of Boot Boys of the Wolf Reich, Punk Rock Ghost Story, Amazing Punk Stories, The Vegan Revolution with Zombies. I was a 2011 nominee for the Pushcart Prize in Literature. I've had a good many short stories published since 2002 as well. In places like Inner Zone, Ellen Datlow's Best Horror of the Year 2, Legacy of the Reanimator, and Dark Regions Presses, The Children of Glocky, Tribute Stories to Ramsey Campbell. Ed and I were a part of a writer's group in Portland called the Willamette Valley Sorcerers. It was just kind of a, a loosely uh, put together group of friends that would read stories and critique each other. In the 2340s AD, humankind has expanded to several solar systems and habitable worlds. Flesh Trade is the story of Andal Shelton, who is the governor of one of the largest human colonies in the human expansion. But there is a red line of known human occupancy beyond which are uncharted though not unsettled worlds which human civilization cannot police. This all comes to a head when his daughter is kidnapped and taken to a world beyond the red line. Newcock was first homesteaded and settled by a pair of Thai gangsters and its economy revolves around human trafficking and prostitution, child sexual slavery, and all the overlapping horrors which follow the dark routes of such things. Andal has one night on the world of Newcock, which is 36 hours, to free his daughter. For the knowledge and military skill necessary to accomplish this act, Governor Shelton volunteers to mind fuse with a dead soldier. A Colonel John Stack, who was once the de facto mayor of Krang Khan, the biggest megalopolis on Newcock. From there it gets a little weird. And that's, in a nutshell, the story of Flesh Trade. Ed and I had talked about writing some space opera together. And yeah, he emailed me with one idea that stuck out. Immediately, I asked him how much of this is done, and he says just a page of outline and two pages of notes. We had um, an idea for a really epic four-book series that maybe one day we'll still write. But I kind of said to Ed, like, why don't we just do a one-off? So we began our outlining process, building the strongest outline, writing scenes into it, editing the scenes back and forth, then chapters, then sections, then the work. David built the skeleton, I fleshed the bones, and David reminded me that linearity is our friend and kept me in touch with many aspects of this too unfamiliar epic form. The collaboration process was, was a really easy one for us. We basically, we outlined the whole uh, book down to about 60 chapters, and each of us would take turns uh, writing the first draft of a chapter, then the other author would write the second draft, and then it would go back to the first author for a third pass, and then we had a, f and then Ed would do the fourth and final pass. By autumn of 2013, one calendar year, we had a first draft, then a final, then a few more passes when it was finally homed earlier this year with Ryan Thomas and the good folks at Grand Mile Press. Of course, the work of Philip K. Dick. Um, Neil Asher for one of the modern authors that influenced us. I know Ed was very influenced by um, Alistair Reynolds and you know the influences are all over the place and so we feel like there's many different styles of science fiction that are represented here and something for all readers to grab onto. Um, it's one of the th marks of our friendship is that we uh, have really long and intense discussions of about genre fiction, and both of us like old school science fiction. We're both big fans of John Bruner, Philip K. Dick, um, Philip Jose Farmer. I remember writing action scenes in David's short, terse style while he mimicked my rambling verbiaria in other sections. I think one of the things that makes this novel so unique is that we have two strong voices, myself and Ed, who you know, uh, a great collaboration should look like, well, it shouldn't look like either of our work, and it doesn't. Um, there's bits and pieces of both of us there, but it's not a book that either one of us could have written on our own. 
We used to try to gross each other out, too. David got me with the river of liquid bodies and parts with the reader sees just before we meet Knacker, a kind of warehouse keeper who was one of my favorite characters, written as the great English actor Alan Ford in a fat suit and disgusting floating Harkonnen garb. And what's really cool about it is that Ed and I are two very different writers, and Flesh Trade is a very different book from one that either one of us would write. Basically, it has elements of an Ed Morris book and elements of a David Agronoff book, but it is very much its own thing, and we're really excited for people to read it. I will have much more to say about the book in interviews to come, but there we are. I hope this has piqued your curiosity. Gotta get back to work. Thank you all for listening and reading.